Item number SCP-671-JP, Object Class Euclid. Special Academic Procedures. SCP-671-JP is to be contained in a specialized tank with electrodes for feeding and 10 meter surplus space above the water surface. Detailed conditions including water temperature, salinity concentration, pH, voltage of electrodes are to be adjusted at any time as to be within the range of prescribed value. Once every five years, at night of the first day of the month, atmospheric temperature and humidity within the tank are to be adjusted properly to induce event pentecostis. Description SCP-671-JP is a species of aquatic organisms similar to hydroids, which has two remarkable enormous properties. Firstly, SCP-671-JP is capable of directly using electricity as an energy source. Secondly, it can float in the air similarly as it does in the water, surviving without any problems. Same as the most of hydroids, SCP-671-JP alternately repeats two different generations in its life cycle. Polyp and Medusa for convenience, polyps are referred to as SCP-671-JP-1, as Medusae are referred to as SCP-671-JP-2. SCP-671-JP-1 forms a floating colony the same way the blue bun or similar jellyfish do. Its colony resembles that of Isotomade and gradually grows larger by asexual reproduction of zooids. SCP-671-JP-1 colony will keep growing for about five years, and its size of bell will reach up to over three meters in diameter. While SCP-671-JP is able to survive in the air, as mentioned above, it will not voluntarily leave from under the water except during event Pentecostus. SCP-671-JP-2's appearance resembles that of Pyrrhotidae. SCP-671-JP-2 instances are divided to male and female, each emitting sperms and eggs for sexual reproduction. In contrast to SCP-671-JP-1, the life of SCP-671-JP-2 lasts 12 hours or less. It only manifests during Event Pentecostus. Event Pentecostus is a series of phenomena that occurs when a colony of SCP-671-JP-1 reaches its maximum size. In addition to maturity of the colony, the occurrence of event Pentecostus needs to fulfill the following environmental conditions. It must be the night of the first day of the month. Air temperature must be within the range of 26 to 28 degrees Celsius and humidity must be over 70%. It must not be rainy weather. As the days meeting the above-mentioned requirements are naturally restricted, all SCP-671-JP-1 colonies that were birthed at almost the same time period will carry out Event Pentecostus at the same night in an approximate five-year cycle. Details of phenomenon are as follows. SCP-671-JP-1 colony stops growing and floats upward to reach the high altitude atmosphere as much as possible. At the same time, SCP-671-JP-2 instances begin to bud from buster styles of SCP-671-JP-1 colony and float away. SCP-671-JP-2 instances emit their sperm and eggs from reproductive glands while floating around. After budding of SCP-671-JP-2, SCP-671-JP-1 colony generates powerful electricity in the body. During this period, sewage near the tips of tentacles charge positive, while those near the bell charge negative. 
It causes a potential difference of several million votes between both ends of the colony. As a result, spark discharges occur from inside the bell towards the tips of the tentacles, causing electron avalanche and minor thunderbolts in the peripheral atmosphere. As SCP-671-JP has red fluorescent protein reacting to electrical stimulus, they emit red light during discharge. Sperm and eggs of SCP-671-JP-2 unite. Fertilized eggs rapidly differentiate by obtaining energy from SCP-671-JP-1's electric discharge, hatching as pronular larvae. Event Pentecostus concludes on the same night it happens. Hatch panolas enter the water, grow, and form colonies of SCP-671-JP-1. Old SCP-671-JP-1 colonies and SCP-671-JP-2 instances will expire after electrical discharge and reproduction, and the remains will melt away. Incident 671JP1 SCP-671JP was discovered on 19 Beep when a large-scale event Pentecostus occurred in Nakagoku, Kyoto City, Kyoto Prefecture. During six hours from the start to the conclusion of the event, two civilians were killed and 14 others were injured by scp 671 one JP one's electric discharges, causing power failure at Nakagoku and parts of Shimogoku until the morning of the next day. Subsequent investigation revealed that this event was caused by seven colonies of SCP six seventy one JP one, which had been raised at a wooden housing fishmonger shop, redacted, located in Nishiki Market. The owner of said shop, Beep, was electrocuted during the event. However, his wife Beep claimed he had devoted himself to raise SCP-671-JP-1 colonies since he obtained larvae from an antique dealer in Kyoto City five years ago.